Hi, I'm Mussy Shore, Product Manager for Google Friend Connect. Google Friend Connect lets you grow traffic by easily adding social features to your website. Let's start by looking at Google Friend Connect from the eyes of a site owner, Annie Moby. Here's Annie. She's got a terrific website called Love the Guac. She posts a guac recipe every day. She really has a lot of visitors. Annie would like the site to be more social. She wishes folks could join, express their passion for the recipes and review them, and maybe add some pictures from their guac recipes, it being such a social food. Annie goes to Google Friend Connect. She clicks the Set Up Your Site button, adds the site name, Love the Guac, puts in the URL of the site, and saves that information. Next, Annie goes into a catalog of social gadgets where she gets to choose which social features she'd like to add to her site. Core to, for her to add is the Members Gadget. <coughs> the Members Gadget is the gadget that lets people join and invite their friends and meet others. She changes the height to something a little bit shorter. She skins it a little bit to get in keeping with her guac site, which is mostly green, she clicks the Generate Code button. Friend Connect generates the code she needs for the, um, for the Members Gadget. <coughs> she selects it, and then she goes to her favorite editor for her website. She uses Dreamweaver. There's her site, and here's the code for her site right now. It's pretty simple. She pastes in the code. Well, that's a good start. She wants more action, though. So she goes back to Friend Connect and back into the Gadget Gallery. And she chooses a Review and Rate Gadget. This will let folks rate recipes each day and add their comments. Again, she provides a little skinning to keep things in the spirit of the site. She generates the code, selects the code, copies it, returns to her website, and pastes it in. Well, there was one more thing Andy had, Annie had in mind. She wanted to have a pictures fit capability where people could share. Well, what happens is whenever you add Friend Connect to your website, You've made your site able to accept any kind of open social application made by an external developer. And in fact, Annie did find a, uh, she did find a photo gadget that was made by an outside developer, and she got the XML for that. So she opens it up and she provides the URL to the gadget, and again she generates the code. Now this functionality was made by an external developer, but it's the same process. She copies it and she um, puts it on her clipboard. She goes back to her website and this was her last bit. She pastes it in. Annie's all set. She's done all the work necessary to make her site social. She needs to push it up to her website, which she does. And now, let's take a look at what it feels like to be a visitor coming to Annie's site. Well, here's a visitor I know pretty well. It's me. I'm a guac lover for sure. And I've visited Annie's site before, but this time things look different. I see that I can join and sign in. I see that I can add reviews. And it looks like I can even add some pictures. I click the Sign In button. And I notice that I can sign in with any one of these existing types of accounts. I could sign in with my screen name, or I could sign in with my Google account. I provide my credentials. Better get that right. And here I'm presented with some options. This is the first time I've used Google Friend Connect, so 
I notice that it gives me an opportunity to link in friends from different social networks. I'm going to link in my Facebook friends. Provide my Facebook credentials. And there, my Facebook friends are linked in. Also, for this specific site, and for every individual site, I get to decide certain things, like I can add certain information about myself. Most interesting is this ability to publish activities that I'm doing at this site back to my social networks. By default, this is off, but I'm deciding to opt in. I check it, and then I save. Right off the bat, I see some things are happening. I see Annie's here, because actually Annie's one of my friends on Facebook. And I see an opportunity to rate this, make a review, such as, wow, this margarita recipe looks fantastic. I'm going to just say the whole thing is great. Best guac ever. I post that. And now I even see an opportunity to add some photos. It just so happens that I was at a guac costume party the other night. I'm going to add the picture that a friend of mine wore. He went pretty much over the top. And, as it turns out, he wasn't the only one having fun. I brought my dog, Zippy. And it seemed like Zippy got a little bit over-involved in the party. Well, now that I've put some pictures here, put a comment here, I think I'd like to bring some friends along. I'm going to invite my friends. I bring up the invite window. And there I can see friends from my various networks. Yeah, I think I'll invite David. And I can invite Dan. And the invitation gets sent. But what would be really nice is if I didn't have to pick everybody out who I wanted to invite, and people who loved guac, who were my friends, could also discover it too. Well, we're going to take a look at exactly how that works. I'm going to switch personalities one more time. I have a friend in Brazil. Her name is Cindy. Cindy's a friend of Mussy, but Mussy didn't know she liked guacamole. Well, all is not lost. Cindy is in her social network, which is Orchid, and she notices an update that catches her eye. Best guac ever. Posted it loved the guac. So she clicks on it. And lo and behold, she discovers Mussy, who's a friend of hers, is already here. And she noticed some posts, and she even recognizes Mussy's dog. She joins. The difference is, because Cindy's been to a previous Google Friend Connect site, she doesn't have to provide all the credential information again. She just needs to accept that she wants to join this particular site. She presses Accept. She gets another opportunity to set options for this particular site as opposed to others. Again, she opts in to publishing activities and saves. Now Cindy's inside this site too as a member. She looks down and she decides to make a post mostly attracted to this terrific margarita recipe. Five stars. Great margarita. And she posts that. Well, there you go. She's posting, seeing pictures from her friends, seeing her friends there, keeping track of which friends are whom. And things are looking pretty good. Let's turn back to Annie, the person whom we started with, Annie the site owner, and see how things look. Annie's come a long way in just a few minutes. If you take a look at the Manage Members section, you can see that visitors are starting to join. Cindy joined and Mussy joined. And if we take a look at reports, she's starting to get some information about how our membership is growing and how many new members are coming. Well, that's excellent. 
And indeed, if we take a look at the site, Annie sees a very, very different site than she had earlier. Friends are there. Posts are starting to happen. Maybe we ought to refresh this. There's Cindy's post. There's Mussy's post. There are the pictures. And everything is looking pretty good. So let's summarize. We had three roles in this thing. And Google Friend Connect provide benefits to all of them. To Annie, the site owner, she got social activity very, very quickly with no coding at all. Viral growth started to happen on her site and a bunch of new functionality with reviews and photos appearing on her site without her having to do anything. Mussy the visitor found a site that used to be kind of static. Now he found fellow guacers engaged with posts and pictures and shared with friends. And Cindy, the friend of Mussy, discovered a new site just by being within her social network, looking at the updates, and because Mussy was her friend, got attracted back to Annie's site where things were growing. And then finally, the people who provided these particular types of applications, that photo application, he got additional distribution for his application. So that's Google Friend Connect. We're in a preview release right now, and we hope you take a look. Thank you very much.